Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. In today's video, again, talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. I have a few amazing charts. I have a trading tip. I have a travel tip. I will discuss the news as something really cool happened for Bitcoin. Also answering one of the questions and, of course, ending the video again with an inspirational quote. Uh, yes, I wasn't there yesterday. I needed a day break because the whole weekend was a lot of... Uh, uh, parties with my family with a big family and it's suddenly we ended it with a barbecue and a bouncing castle for the kid children and a lot of fun and a lot of drinks so i needed one day rest on monday so i am back back on tuesday i am back with amazing charts i'm going to show you five amazing charts i'm going to give you a trading tip i'm going to give you a travel tip i'm going to show you some really cool news answer one of the questions of the followers and yes of course give you a beautiful inspirational quote at the end let's quickly jump into the charts to show exactly Exactly what is happening to Bitcoin today. Bam. The first chart for today, guys, is this amazing four hour chart. We can see that buy signal here on the bottom was a very good buy signal. If you would have bought at the top here, um, you would have stayed until there. It would have been a 10 cent profit. If you're still in it, uh, you should be exiting because we're closing candles down below the yellow stepping line, and it's an indication to exit your trade on that four hour time frame, of course, guys. Um, also, if you look at the bottom here, we can see that the blue line did cross that white line already and yes, the green was declining into yellow, so that would have been a very clear signal on this candle to exit that trade. You could have also sold at the sell signal, but sometimes you need to wait, it's better to wait till we close this candle again down below the yellow stepping line. Uh, that did happen, so that was an end of that trade, guys. And the second chart, guys, that we will have is this one, is the day chart. We are zooming out a little bit. We can see that the green bars on the bottom started again. That was after almost 50 days of red bars on the bottom of the MACD. Finally, green bars. And um, what we can also see, if, if you look at this one over here, this is the RSI. If we would draw a line, like, for example, from these tops over here, like that, then we can see that our RSI is breaking out. So we were having resistance downward, down, and then we broke out, and now we are retesting it, which is also a very positive thing on the RSI, guys. So let's see if we can retest and then um, go up again and fly out. So that our RSI broke out of that downward trend line. We can even extend the trend line, maybe even till there, if you look like this. You know, we went up, we came below, we went against it, against it, against it, bam, we break out of it after bottoming out with our RSI. Very um, good move for the daily. Yes, we were having this daily flag pattern on the chart before, which still looks like a flag pattern, but we should be breaking out already, in my honest opinion. But even here in the short term, if you would draw this line here from there to there, we can see that we are breaking out retesting the line and maybe then make that move again to around 70k guys if we look at this chart this is the weekly chart you can see that the weekly 50 ma was the support just like i said in the weekly though we had a crossover of that blue and the red line the bars are turning a little bit negative but it doesn't mean that it will end that bullish run that we see now because look over here that was also the moment when the bars turned red that was the start of a sideways movement in the price. And when they started to go green again, that was that massive run. Also in the weekly, and we are down below this trend line still that we drew a couple of weeks ago. We need to break above it. These need to turn green again. And when that will happen, yes, that weekly will also look very positive. But we need to have the daily turn positive first. Now, let's zoom out and look at some other charts. This is a three-day chart, guys. On the three-day chart, we can see a bullish engulfing pattern. So a bullish engulfing pattern means it is that we have like a few red candles, and then a small red candle, and then a bigger green candle, and then again two green candles. Just like we had here, we hear bullish engulfing, we went up. We hear bullish engulfing, we went up. We hear a bullish engulfing, we went up. Over here, we are building now that bullish engulfing uh, pattern. And I think when that happens, then we again will move up to that 70 to 80K target that we are still waiting for. Interesting three-day chart. Every candle is three days. This is a weekly chart. Um, yes, this was the COVID crash in the previous bull market. Now we have the FTX crash over here in this market. But the thing that is very important to see is over here, that bottom part of the chart, Every time when we hit those level around those arrows over here, one time blue 
crosses over that red line again here, second time, blue crosses over the red line then. That's exactly when that crash was, exactly when that second part of the bull market started. Now, again, check over here. This is the first time over here. That was exactly when that crash was. Then over here, that was exactly when we had that pullback. Now over here, we are going to cross again. That blue line will cross that red line. That will mean, in my honest opinion, another huge bounce in the Bitcoin price. It's just very simple to see that every time on the chart, it happens the same. When we bottom out, we will again move up. I expect we will soon move up. That's why I've been making these videos that we will see a huge move soon. Because all the indicators are telling me there will be a huge move soon. On the monthly chart, we can see that every time after the halving, we see a green candle, that will be the second part of the bull market. Every time, green candle, second part of the bull market. After the halving, green candle, second part of the bull market. After the halving, green candle, second part of that bull market. All those charts, they just keep repeating or rhyming like they say. They are not exact copies, but they do show every time what kind of move to expect after, for example, the halving, which is a very important moment in the Bitcoin four-year cycle. We will go up again. If we look at the MVRV Momentum 90-day line, it's that blue line, we can see that every time when we are down below that blue line, it's an amazing buying opportunity. When you would have bought over there, you would have made 64% profit. If you would have bought over here, you would have made 59% profit. If you would have bought in this area, 28% profit. If you would have bought in this area, you would have had 99% profit. Over here, if you would have bought in this area, 90% profit. We are now, again, be aware, this zoomed in, down below that 90-day MVRV. We are down below that line, which means prime buying opportunity. Every time when it's green over here, it's a buying opportunity. Because before you know it, this orange line is going to cross that blue line again and we will again have a maybe 90% move. That's doubling in price. So these indications, these indicators on the charts, they are not there for no reason. They are there to show you, hey, in the past, whenever there was green, Whenever that yellow line or orange line was down below the blue line, that was the amazing moment to buy Bitcoin. So yes, at the moment, it's still an amazing moment to buy Bitcoin. We still see green. We still see the orange line down below the blue line. It won't take long before we'll go above it. And then we will see a huge move, maybe 60%, 50%, 30%, or 90%. It doesn't matter. It will be a huge move. You need to make sure you are in Bitcoin before this happens. I hope you really enjoyed this chart, guys. Yes, of course, short term, beautiful volatility, just like I said it would be. I told you to buy at 57, 58K because I expect it to go up again. When the herd is telling you we will go to 52K, we will always do the opposite, guys. And again, I think that 60K area, like 58 to 60K, is a huge area of support. We bounced beautifully, now searching for new all time highs very soon. If you need to believe all those charts that I showed you just today, we are bottoming out. In the RSI, we are retesting all the lines, we are preparing of the second part of that massive bull market. We can already see the daily RSI turning green after 50 days. Beautiful charts, guys. So when it comes to Bitcoin, always remember to zoom out, look at that bigger picture, look at that four-year cycle, and try to zoom in on life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day instead of stressing and freaking out about every minute candle in the charts. The trading tip for today, guys, is not really a trading tip, but it's a huge achievement for Bitcoin. Bitcoin surpassed 1 billion transactions. 1 billion transactions have been done on the Bitcoin blockchain. That is amazing news. That is telling us that adoption is happening. 1 billion transactions. That is 178,475 average transactions per day. That is massive. It won't take long before we go to 2 billion and 3 billion and 4 billion and 5 billion transactions. And especially now, that for example, because of runes, not only non-fungible tokens, but also fungible tokens will be created on the Bitcoin blockchain. There will be a complete DeFi industry being built on the Bitcoin blockchain that will lead to a massive amount of transactions. 
more transactions than we have ever seen before on that Bitcoin blockchain. So yes, I do believe that 1 billion is amazing, but let's head now to the 10 billion mark for transactions on Bitcoin. Amazing times for Bitcoin. That's a trading tip for today. Always keep track on which blockchains are the most stable ones that have never blackouts, that are always online 24 seven. Those are the projects you need to invest in. If you have a project that has a blockchain that is stopping now and then, or needs to like reconfigure now and then, or needs to like even turned back now and then. I wouldn't trust my full capital on that kind of blockchain. And we know which kinds of blockchains have had some issues in the past. So for me, Bitcoin still the king. The travel tip for today is always adapt to the local time. Like for example in Spain, they have a siesta in the afternoon Go to bed, go to sleep, go to chill on your sunbed because a lot of stores will be closed. For example, here in Javea, a lot of stores are being closed between like 2 and 5-ish or 3 and 6-ish. The restaurants only open at sometimes 8 o'clock. People eat very late here in Spain, mostly eat like between like 8 and 12. Some people just start eating after 10 o'clock in the evening, so that's 10 p.m. when they start to eat. That is like not really in line with my intermediate fasting that I should be doing. So it's very difficult, but you need to adapt to the Spanish time because else you will be running against, you know, the whole economy in that country. Even this weekend when you want to go to party in some clubs, you know, normally it starts like 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, like for example in Portugal, or maybe sometimes 12 o'clock. Here, at 12 o'clock, it's like still empty. At 1 o'clock, it starts to get pretty full. At 1.30, yeah, the venue is full. And then they party on till 7 in the morning. So yeah, the complete time shift here in Spain. So yes, you can wake up. Yes, you can do your breakfast beautiful on the boulevard. But then there will be a pause in between. That's called the siesta, where you need to chill yourself out as well. And then again, go for food hunting later in the evening. Because some restaurants are not even open at 6 or 7 o'clock. So yes, when you travel, you need to adapt to the local time. And in Spain, that means partying after 1 p.m., which made my weekend pretty, pretty, pretty tough. So that was a travel tip. Always adapt to the time wherever you are in the world. Bam! Then I'm answering one of the questions of the followers. The question was, Didi, do you think it's still a good time to sell my apartment, take the money and put it into Bitcoin at the moment to double my capital? In my opinion, it is still an amazing time to buy Bitcoin. But for me, it is always an amazing time to buy Bitcoin. Um, if you ask me to sell your apartment, you know, I'm not a financial advisor, but I would at this moment still sell my apartment. I would take the overvalue, put it in Bitcoin, double or even triple my capital in the next 12 to 18 months, and then take it out again. If you want to buy back an apartment, buy back an apartment and only play with the profit that you made. But I'm here to try to educate you more and more that all your money should be in Bitcoin and not in real estate. Because real estate is not giving you the return of investment that Bitcoin is giving you. So if you're in Bitcoin, you're making a return of investment, a CAGR at the moment of more than 50% a year. So if you have 100K in Bitcoin, that will mean every year you become 50K richer and that's going to compound. So it will be more and more and more. I can't say that for your apartment. That apartment will always cost you. And of that 50K that you become richer in Bitcoin, you can easily rent a beautiful apartment in any country in the world and still have more profit than you would have if you would live in an apartment and own an apartment. If you think that you really, or if you believe that you really own an apartment, all depends on the laws of the government, of course. So for me, real estate is not a really safe haven, it's not a safe investment. It has been for many decades, but we have seen more and more and more control and regulations by governments on that real estate. It doesn't feel as if you own it anymore. There is more and more rules. They determine how much taxes you pay every year, how much all the costs will be for your garbage and all that stuff. So it's never clear how much you exactly pay. If you rent something, you know exactly what you pay and you know exactly that if something happens in that country, bam, you stop renting and you leave. I've repeated it many times, flexibility is the new stability, which means if you don't own too much stuff in your baggage, you know, you don't have a too big backpack, then you don't have too many troubles when you want to move on to a new place. So real estate, not the safest haven for me. I would always sell real estate and buy Bitcoin, especially when you don't yet have a huge amount of capital. Down the line, when you did one or two Bitcoin cycles and when you multiplied your capital by five or 10 or 20, maybe then you can buy real estate again. 
and maybe then they will be like diversifying your capital. So we are now almost through three cycles. Maybe in the future I would buy some real estate that can I like rent out or whatever. Maybe for my daughters to live, whatever they want. But in the first cycle, first two cycles, I would hedge all my capital into Bitcoin, multiply your capital, and then maybe start to diversify a little bit. If you even want to diversify it then, because then you got used to Bitcoin going up so much every year that you don't want to have less return on investment than Bitcoin has given you. So my answer to your question, yes, I would still sell an apartment, go all in, double the capital, as I believe we would go easy to 120k this bull market, then probably exit into stable coins, buy back more bitcoins at the bottom, do that cycle again in the next four years, and maybe at that time all those tokenized real estate projects have succeeded, and maybe you can buy then a real estate back with your bitcoin through such a tokenized project, guys. So many possibilities will be there in five to ten years. We can't even predict yet what all will be possible because of bitcoin. Bitcoin, blockchain, Internet of Things, AI, in a not too far future. We won't be using the banks anymore. We will be able to buy houses, apartments, everything, cars with Bitcoin. And maybe even in a tokenized way. Many possibilities to come. So yes, I would sell and buy Bitcoin. The news for today is that the first Bitcoin-backed synthetic dollar is about to launch and not only that it will have a 25 percent yield which means if you are holding that dollar that synthetic dollar that is backed by bitcoin not by anything else you will receive 25 percent yield a year up to 25 percent yield a year i don't know the exact amount but it says in the article up to 25 percent yield a year for holding your bitcoin backed synthetic dollar so that means you will be able to hold your Bitcoin back synthetic dollar without even needing to trust the banks, etc. anymore. You will be making yield without needing to trust the banks or any other blockchain than the Bitcoin blockchain. That is what we were missing till now. Everything was built, for example, on Ethereum or any other blockchain. But real Bitcoins only want to use that Bitcoin blockchain. So for those OGs, and those wills that have been in Bitcoin for a very long time, they are waiting exactly for that moment. They are waiting for that moment that there will be a synthetic Bitcoin-backed dollar that they can have a yield of 25% a year on. So yes, I do think it's a very important news article there on Cointelegraph. Go and read it for yourself. Always do your own research. Research what it exactly means that the USDH dollar is going to do for you in the future but it definitely means that all those bitcoiners out there only need to use bitcoin related products and they don't need to depend anymore on ethereum based products or any other blockchain based products all those bitcoiners that didn't want to have any exposure to those non-bitcoin related products can now have exposure to for example a usdh i think it's called a synthetic dollar that's being backed by bitcoin Please do your research about that because I think it's going to be a very important step on the Bitcoin blockchain because of the ruins and all the other stuff. More and more is being built now on that Bitcoin blockchain. And when we get that first stable USD age that's being backed by Bitcoin, that could be a very important step for Bitcoin. So please do your research about that news item today. Then we come to the last part of the video, guys, the inspirational part. For the inspirational part, today I have two items. The first one is sharing is caring, which means if you are successful, if you earn a shitload because of Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency or any other business that you're doing, it is very important that you make that money or Bitcoin flow. It is like energy. It needs to flow. You need to give it and to receive back and give it to receive back. So for us as a family, it has always been very important, sharing is caring. Like last Sunday, I invited the whole family. My uncles and aunts were here near me in Spain, my brother, my sister, some friends. I invited them for a very beautiful organized barbecue, dinner, everything. Kids had a bouncy castle. Why? Because we are doing pretty well. So you need to give back, give back to your friends, give back to your family, give back to the community, give back to poor people. Whatever you can afford to give, you should be giving. Treat Bitcoin, treat money, whatever you believe in, as energy. It comes and it goes. But when it stops going out, it will stop also coming in. It needs to be flowing. Sometimes you just give. 
give parties, invite people to boat trips, and do all cool stuff with other people that can't yet afford all that stuff that we can at the moment. I think it's very important that we understand still that core philosophy of Bitcoin that is built as a peer-to-peer -peer cash for everyone out there. And there were some people that didn't believe early enough in Bitcoin, but we did. And because we did, we are earning big time. And because we are earning big time, we should be sharing with those people that didn't believe in Bitcoin, but that they understand, hey, maybe I should start to believe in Bitcoin as well. Maybe Bitcoin is that true money. Maybe that's the only form of money, the only decentralized form of money that has only 21 million Bitcoins that can't be printed more of, and that can't lead to inflation. People will start to understand, but I believe that people Whatever people it is, Bitcoin or no Bitcoiner, should always be caring about others through sharing. I think as a family for us, it's very important that we always believe in that value. Sharing is caring. We show our children it's also good to give, not only to get, to more and more and more. You need to be giving. Bitcoin is energy. It will come and it will go. You just need to make sure you keep it flowing. Very simple. At least that is how I think it works. Now let's jump into the second part. That second part is also an inspirational quote, guys. And that inspirational quote is, if you want to make your dreams come true, the first step you need to take is to wake up. You need to wake up. If you want a dream to come true, you're dreaming at that moment. For those dreams to come true, you need to wake up. Wake up. Wake the fuck up. If you're not doing the job that you're doing, if you're not doing your passion, if you're not doing the life, living the life that you want to live, and you're dreaming every night about a beautiful life, a different life, it doesn't even need to be a rich life. It can also be a traveling life. It can be a minimalist backpacking life. It doesn't matter. The life that you're dreaming about can only happen if you start to wake up. Step one, wake up. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. That's your alarm clock. You need to wake up. Wake up, stop dreaming, and start to persuade all the dreams that you dreamt about in real life. It is possible for everyone. It was possible for me. It is possible for many people out there that I've met last couple of years of traveling. It is also possible for you guys. My battery is almost empty, so I need to stop this video very soon, guys. But when you want your dreams to come true, please understand that the first step is waking up. If you wake up, then the real life starts, and then you can start to make your real dreams come true. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the tips? What do you think about everything else? The inspirational quote. Thank you for watching again on this beautiful Tuesday. I wish you an amazing Tuesday. See you tomorrow morning and Wednesday again. Bam.